In honor of Black History Month, we here at Euro Alaska Link want to shine the spotlight on the achievements of Black Alaskans. Tonight, with the final installment of her week long series, ABC Alaska's Whitney L.B. Miller joins us with part five. Hi, Whitney. Hi, Megan. All this week, we've brought you stories of influential Black Alaskans who are writing the history of our great state, from the legislature to the classroom to a local nonprofit food program. And tonight, as we wrap up this series, we take a look to the future. Hi, For 16 years, Elgin Jones has devoted his life to helping nurture Alaska's youth. They get uh, fried chicken, butter beans and rice. Hamburgers, hot dogs, steak, tuna casserole, uh, good food. He's known at the kids' kitchen as Grandpa Jones. Makes me feel good. It's unbelievable that I have so many grandkids and adopted children. That's amazing. I'm the man in the uh, in the shoe with all the kids. Grandpa Jones dishes out more than a hearty helping of soul food daily. He also encourages and inspires the youth to dream big. I think it's important for the, especially black youth, to know where they came from, that our heroes are more than Snoop Doggy Dog or Jay-Z. I want our kids to see that and know that. They got to be more than basketball or football player. Be something different. I want to make sure that the children coming along now will continue to be proud of what they are and where they came from. Betty Davis was the first and only African American to serve in Alaska Senate. And Davis recalls the path she and others helped pave. But we wouldn't be where we are, and they wouldn't be where they are if it had been for people like me and those before me have, that have paved the way for them. If you don't continue to fight, it's a constant fight. Dr. Joshua Wright, the first black man to serve on the Anchorage School Board as well as serve in Alaska State House, says equality, even nowadays, is a constant battle. We have come a long way from the time when I was a kid. And his kids, who some successful black Alaskans say need to be taught the past to look forward to an equal future. Now in continuation with the Black History Celebration, right here in Alaska, the NAACP will host an event in honor of the month at the Lusak Theater on February 24th. And make sure you to follow us on Twitter at your AK link to continue the conversation by adding the hashtag AK Black History. Megan. It's a great series. Thank you, Whitney. That's Whitney L.B. Miller reporting for us tonight.